Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you four options for player controls in Scratch. So the first option is you can use the arrow keys to make your sprite point in a direction and then move. So if I press up, I'm going to point up and move. If I press right, I point right and move. Down, I go down and left. Guess what? I go left. So it makes it look like this. So I'm pressing right, pressing left, pressing up, pressing down. Now you'll notice that I'm having to tap a bunch, tap, 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 in order to make a move. If I press and hold like right now, there's like this delay between press and when it actually starts moving smoothly. So these controls work, but it's not super great at um, being very responsive controls. In addition, it also makes it so that my cat is kind of like looking all over the place. Now I'll show you another version of this. Goodbye, scratch cat. So option number two, instead of changing the direction, pointing in a new direction, you can actually make it so that your sprite just simply changes Y when going up and down and changes X when going left and right. So this is related to math coordinates uh, on a graph. So X is left and right, negative 240 is the farthest to the left, positive 240 is the farthest to the right, and Y is up and down, so 180 positive is up the highest, and negative 180 is the lowest. And if you go to zero, zero, that's right in the center. So what I'm doing when I'm going up is I'm changing y by positive five. When I'm going down, I'm changing y by negative five. When I'm going right, I'm changing x by five. And going left, changing x by minus five. Okay, so this makes it so that my scratch cat stays in the same direction, and it makes it so that I can change the coordinates. But it still has the same problem of pressing and holding, and then it it has a very slow um, response time. So it's got some lag in there in my controls. So let me show you an option that fixes that. So this option, when we run this code, it makes it so that uh, it's doing the exact same thing as before. However, it's now using the if conditional block so that if I press the arrow key, it's going to change y by five and it's inside of a forever loop. So now when I do this, it makes it so that I press and hold and it immediately starts moving a bunch. And I can actually press like up and right at the same time, and it's going to go diagonal. So this gives you way more um, control over your sprite and makes it so that it's much smoother and much less lag in the character. Now, the final option is this one right here. So it's the same idea as the previous code. However, I've added this or block, this green block, that makes it so that you can either press the arrow keys or you can do the W, A, S, and D keys, which some people use when they're playing a game. So for instance, this makes it so that you can use uh, the left hand, maybe, to control the W, A, S, and D keys while you use your right hand to control your mouse. So you can keep one hand on the keyboard while your other hand is moving the keys. However, if somebody prefers to hold the mouse with their other hand, they could hold it with their other hand and use the arrow keys with the right hand to control it like this. So this gives players the options, which is an accessible way of uh, creating player controls. So I'd highly recommend using this version. However, all four versions work. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.